was a bit of an unsettled day today. Take a look at this beautiful picture sent in from Dan up in Port Washington. This is the shelf cloud that was moving through port earlier, and this is right as that shelf cloud was pushing over on top of Dan where he was right there. So behind this, you usually see something kind of ominous looking like this. Behind it, you get some intense wind, then the rain, potentially hail comes down, and behind all of that, you're going to get some really intense wind gusts as, as well. Here's a look at some of those hail reports. Lake Geneva picking up over a quarter size hail. Uh, Waterford and Burlington both, both picking up about a quarter size hail, a little bit lighter amounts than that around the Pleasant Prairie area where you saw just about nickel size hail. Elkhorn as well. Kenosha about a quarter size hail, pea size hail in some locations as well. A lot of folks, especially from I-94 southward, pick out your town, picked up quite a bit of rain. Franklin coming in just under an inch. Milwaukee about a half an inch. Sherwood about a quarter of an inch. Of course, the heaviest amounts were along and south of I-94 from that downpour that moved on through with that cluster of thunderstorms. Still looking at a little bit of light rain moving out of Walworth County at the moment, and that is with the cold front that is slowly sagging across the area. That's going to keep temperatures tonight for the most part in the 40s, and that's where we find folks in Glendale as well as in Brown Deer, 49 degrees. Oak Creek down to 48, 52 right now in Milwaukee. And of course, we are much colder than yesterday. Almost felt like summer yesterday, 20 to 25 degrees below these same temperatures where we had yesterday. Yesterday. We went from summer to stormy and of course tomorrow we're going to go back to more like spring temperatures. At least it's going to look nice outside across the entire state tonight. Clearing skies. We are drying out. Finally, a nice stretch of dry weather. Look what happens as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Nothing. It's great. We're finally getting a break from all the rainy weather. Temperatures, yes, are going to be a bit on the cool side, especially at the lakefront. It will be a little warmer away from Lake Michigan, but it'll feel nice in the sunshine. So make sure you get out in the sunshine and don't forget the sunscreen. Heading into your Monday, still not a whole lot to show you. 60s at the lakefront, 70s inland with sunny skies across the entire state. Monday night, we're still staying dry. Tuesday night, that's when we're starting to watch a chance for some rain showers, but Tuesday during the day, still dry. Overnight tonight, Again, drying out skies will be clearing 48 degrees your overnight low. If you're going to be heading out over the Hone Bridge tomorrow, it will be closed to cars for some par portion of the morning, especially because the UPATH ride for the arts. The 70 mile an hour bike ride starting at 7 a.m. 54 degrees, 58 degrees for the kids five mile and then temperatures only climb into the low 60s. It will be cool, but yes, yeah, still dry and sunny, and I think we'll take the dry weather any day, especially after the May that we had. Getting into your Monday, 65 with sunshine, 70s inland and 70s for everyone on Tuesday, three days wow. with sunshine in a row. And then Tuesday night into Wednesday, a little bit of rain, but the seven day forecast is so much drier, a lot more 70s. It's June. I think yes. we can shake May and send it on its way. That is what we like to see. Thanks, Jesse. Mm -hmm.